So you wanna make more money as a photographer, the first thing you can do is get rid of that terrible portfolio on your website. You know the one I'm talking about, the one that's just a bunch of random photos in a single gallery. This portfolio is bringing your professional value down. And clients see this and they think, yo, is this an amateur? Like, I'm not gonna charge this person the amount of money they want. They don't even have a good portfolio. So today, we are gonna solve that problem in under 10 minutes. I'm gonna show you how to create a beautiful, professional, and most importantly, organized portfolio so all your best work can be on display for clients. So when they see that portfolio, they think, yo, I'm gonna give this person a lot of money because clearly they know what they're doing. So here is how we're gonna do that. Today we're using Squarespace, which is the website platform that I have experience on. I built my website fmramp.com in one afternoon using Squarespace, and they are the sponsor of today's video. It's the only web platform I know how to build a website on, and the reason I enjoy using them is videos like this one. It's very easy to build a professional looking website with no web design experience. As you're going to see in today's tutorial, this portfolio that we're building looks like something you paid a professional coder to build, but you built it in 10 minutes using Squarespace. So if you don't have a portfolio website already, you can go to squarespace.com slash Evan Ram, sign up for a free trial, follow along with this video, create your perfect portfolio, and then when you're ready to sign up and send your site live, you can use code Evan Ramp to save 10%. And if you already have a website on Squarespace, you can just follow along with this tutorial and implement this new portfolio system. Now, before we get going on this tutorial, there are a few things that I need you to do. So in today's tutorial, we're creating a travel portfolio. That is going to be our example. So in my case, before I made this tutorial, I had to get all the images I needed for this travel portfolio. So I got images from New York, got images from Arizona and Utah, images from Charleston. I got images from uh, Texas, I think. I can't even remember all of them. You'll see it in the tutorial. But I gathered all these images and you need to do the same thing here. The second thing you need to do once you gather all your images is create cover images for them. Now, I recommend taking these cover images and making them at an aspect ratio of one by two. Once you have these photos, take them into Photoshop and just add text to categorize whatever these portfolios are for. So in today's travel example, I have one cover photo for New York, I have one cover photo for Texas, one cover photo for Utah, etc. You need to do the exact same thing. And last but not least, I need you to create one cover photo at least for the category of portfolio that people are going to. So obviously people go to your portfolio page and they click on travel. There needs to be a cover page for all those portfolios that they will be led to. So do the same thing, create a photo at a one by two aspect ratio, bring it into Photoshop and add text that says travel or whatever your portfolio is. This can be portraits, landscape photos, it can be commercial work, it doesn't matter. We're just using travel as an example here. Follow along and apply it to your own circumstance. So let's jump into Squarespace. Let me show you how to do this. Like I said, if you don't have a website already, you can go to squarespace.com slash Evan Ramp. You can start a free trial, pick out a template, follow along with this and start building your portfolio site along with me and then when you're ready to sign up you can use code Evan Ramp to save 10% at checkout let's get to it so regardless of whether you just started a Squarespace site and it's completely blank or your site looks like mine and it's already built out and you want to add in a portfolio the process is going to be the exact same so step number one is to click on pages up here in the top left now you're gonna scroll down to not linked pages now the reason we're going to start in the not linked pages is because we want to create individual portfolios for all all the locations in our main travel portfolio and we don't want all these portfolios listed up here that's going to be confusing and annoying for a viewer we want these to be live on our site but not be directly linked we just want a simple portfolio link up here which we're going to add later in the process for now we have to subcategorize each location in our portfolio so I already made a page for Utah and Arizona already made a page for Miami already made a page for Death Valley made one for Charleston and made one for New York. Now, what's great about utilizing this method of having these unlinked pages is they still have a live URL slug. So when you click on that gearbox right here, you can see the URL associated with each one of these pages. So let's say, for example, you're working with a client, you're communicating through email, and they are another urban location. You can send them directly to this portfolio page by sending them a link to your website slash New York, and they can see the specific portfolio that is related to what they might be interested 
invested in. The same concept applies to maybe a client who wants more remote images. You can send them directly to your Death Valley portfolio and they can see everything you have to offer that's in line with what they may need from you. So we need to add one more of these portfolios in here. We're gonna do that by clicking this plus sign right here and adding in a blank page. We're gonna title this blank page Texas. So we type that in, click enter, and now we have our blank page. So now we're gonna click on edit right here and we are going to add in first a title for this page. So we are just gonna call it Texas once again. We are going to select header number three and now we have a label for this section of our portfolio being all of our Texas images. Now we're gonna click this plus sign right here. We are gonna to go to gallery and we're gonna upload all the photos that we want to be in our Texas gallery. And we'll select all of our Texas images, click upload, give this one second. So now all of our images are uploaded to this gallery. So we're gonna grab this photo and slide this to the front. I wanna organize these photos and make sure they look cohesive and look good. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this image right here because I think it's a little bit of an outlier to the portfolio and I'm gonna get rid of this image as well. Now I'm gonna click on design and I'm gonna change our rows to five images per row or four, excuse me, because we have eight images. So I'm gonna see how that looks. I'm gonna jump back to our content and organize our photos a little bit better. So I think that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on apply right here. I like the way that looks and we'll click on save. So now we have all of our locations listed as separate pages that we can send clients to directly. Now to be able to navigate to all these pages in an easy to follow way, we're gonna add in another blank page right here. Now this blank page, we are going to house all of these separate travel portfolios. So we're gonna call this travel portfolio. Go ahead and click enter right here. And now we're once again going to get a blank page. Now we're gonna click edit on this page. And once again, we're gonna add in a title right here. We're gonna call it travel portfolio once again and we are once again gonna change it to header number three. Now in this next step, we are going to click on this plus sign and instead of clicking gallery, we're going to select image. So from here, we're gonna add in one of the cover photos that we created before the tutorial. So we'll go ahead and start with Texas. We're gonna click upload right here. Now this is the key step to this process. We need to map this page to the page that we created for our Texas portfolio. And the way we do that is by clicking this link gearbox right here and searching for our Texas page. So as you can see, slash Texas is listed right here as a page. This is going to map this image to that unlinked page. So now we click open in new window, we click save, and we will click save once again. We'll go ahead and refresh our page. And now that we've refreshed our page, we can click on Marfa Texas right here, and we are taken to our Texas portfolio. Look how clean and organized that is. So now we're gonna repeat this process once again with each one of the cover images that corresponds with each of our separate travel portfolios. So we'll click this plus sign once again. We'll go to image right here. We will add an image upload file and we will click on New York. So we click on upload and once again we go to this link, we click on the gearbox and we look for our New York page which is listed right there. We'll select open in new window again, that's up to you, that's just my personal preference. We'll click on save and now we have our New York portfolio and we're gonna continue this process over and over again until we have all of our portfolios listed on this page. So I'm gonna speed through this just because you've seen me do it twice and there's no reason for you to see me do it four times. So there we go, we have now added in each one of our separate cover pages that links us to each one of our portfolios. So we will click on save right here, we'll refresh the page once again, and now we can go in and test each one of these. So Texas takes us to our Texas portfolio, New York takes us to our New York portfolio, Charleston takes us to our Charleston portfolio, Miami takes us to our Miami portfolio, and so on the list, Death Valley to Death Valley, and last but not least, Arizona and Utah goes to Arizona and Utah. So this worked absolutely perfect. Now this next step is where we are going to add the portfolio tab to the top of our website. So we are going to go to primary navigation here. We're gonna click on this plus sign and we're gonna add in another blank page. Now we're gonna call this page portfolio and we'll click enter. And now once again, we're going to click on edit and we're going to add in our header right here. 
portfolio. I'm going to change this to heading number three. Now we're going to do the exact same process that we just did on those last pages. We are going to add in the cover that we created for our travel portfolios. Click on upload right here and we are going to click this gearbox and we are going to map this to our travel portfolio page. So we'll click open in new window. We will click on save. We will click on save right here. We'll refresh our page. And now when we click on this travel image, we are taken to all of our travel portfolios where our viewer can go through and choose which gallery of images they want to look at based on what their interest is. Now to illustrate how powerful of an organization tool this is, let's scroll back down to our not linked pages right here. And I created a page for a project I did with the Gatlinburg Tourism Board. And with this page, I created the same title we've been doing, but I added in a little note here explaining what this project was all about. This is images for a social media campaign for the city of Gatlinburg, and I included all the work that I created for them. So we are going to create another not linked page right here. We're going to have it be blank and we're going to call this page tourism portfolio. So now we'll click on enter and now we can do the same process once again by clicking on edit and we are going to add in a title right here. We are going to say tourism portfolio as our title. We are going to change that to header number three. And now we are going to click this plus sign and we're going to add in an image right here. And we're going to select the cover photo that we intend to have for this Gatlinburg gallery of images. So we're going to click on Gatlinburg right here. We're going to upload this and we are going to map this to our Gatlinburg tourism board page. So we map that, we say open in new window, we click on save and now this is the cover photo that leads us to that portfolio. So let's click on save. We'll refresh the page to test it. Now we can click on this image and we are taken to our Gatlinburg tourist board photos. So we can jump back to our primary navigation. Now we can click on portfolio right here. We can click on edit for this page and we can add in another image down here and repeat this process once again by clicking image. We are going to click the plus sign, upload a photo, and this image is going to represent our tourism commercial projects. And we're going to link this page to that portfolio of tourism images that we just created. So we click on that, open in new window, select save. We will click save once again. And now, as you can see, we have two navigational tools to separate our different portfolios. So we'll refresh this page one time. And now if a viewer comes to our website and clicks on portfolio, they can click on travel and be taken to all of our travel portfolios or click on tourism commercial projects and see the tourism projects that we've created. Right now, it's only the city of Gatlinburg. They click on this and now they are taken to all of our images. So there we go. That is how you build a beautiful portfolio using Squarespace. Now, what I love about this system is the fact that let's say I go do another tourism project. I can easily add that to this portfolio using the steps I outlined in this video. So let's say I go work with the Chicago tourism board. I can take those photos, create a blank page and create the portfolio for all those images. Then I just create a cover image, go to the page that currently has our Gatlinburg tourism board cover photo, add that cover photo on there, map it to my Chicago portfolio. And now now when someone clicks on that commercial work cover page, they see my Gatlinburg photos and they see my Chicago photos and they can click which one is relevant to them. That is what I love about this. It makes it so easy to update your portfolio every time you have a new project and it alleviates this unprofessional look that a portfolio of just a bunch of images has. When your portfolio is just a gallery of photos on a website, it brings your brand continuity down. Clients have a hard time understanding what it is you actually do or if you do multiple things, they have a hard time identifying where their brand fits into all the things that you do that are just listed as a giant gallery of photos. So by implementing this system, you can now easily organize your work and get it to clients in an efficient way. And if you want to learn more about pitching clients and how your portfolio fits into your business, you can go to moderncreativemoney.com and sign up for my course. There's much more detailed information there about how to implement this into your creative business, including a pitch email template that you can use to send your portfolio to clients. But with that 
being said, I'm going to get out of here. Hope this video helped you out. If you have questions, drop them in the comments. And big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Remember, if you want to create a trial site to follow along with this video, you can go to squarespace.com slash Evan Ramp. And when you're ready to sign up and send your site live, use code Evan Ramp to save 10%. I'll catch you all in the next one.